authority to speak to nothing and create something just like my daddy, Abba Father. I'm huge, I am huge when it comes to your confession. And I'm not talking about, oh, blab it and grab it. I'm not talking about, because I don't have to do that because God already knows everything that I want. And I, I'm very specific when it comes to time. I'm specific, and I'll show you, show you in just a minute. I'll reiterate, re reiterate a, 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 a principle that I keep telling you. We're asking God to bless you. Yes. Turn your neighbor and say, I'm already blessed. Come in, let's 
affect people or infect people. Your attitude is either going to affect people or infect people. Let's talk about that for just a moment. I want you to take just a brief moment, listen, and inventory your relationship, starting with your significant other. Hello? Inventory your relationships. Do you affect people or do you infect them? And I've heard people say, if you infect, if you, if you, I, I want to infect you with my drive and my passion and my success. What I have found is that when it calls for an infection, there's usually some disease associated yeah. with the infection. Yeah. Now watch this, because this is powerful. This is, this is really, this principle right here, if you grasp it, it will, it will shift your life. It will help you. Watch. Some people want to infect us with their diseases. Diseases of jealousy, diseases of envy, strife, backbiting, gossip, plotting against others, with infection of judging others. They would, oh, let me tell you the disease of, you don't have to go to church. God loves you anyway. Oh, that's a, that's a big, rampant disease in the kingdom. And those, listen, those are the people that you need to run from. Wow. Listen, God, God did not call you to save those people. That's what a lot of people try to do. Well, I just, I just, we're going to pray that, that he gets saved and that he changes it. You know what? You cannot make anybody do anything they do not want to do. And you have to begin, you have to begin to discern who's a champion and who's not. Who's a loser and who's not. Okay, watch. If you hang with losers, you're going to want to quit. That's right. That's right. Because they're infecting you right. with loser's disease. Yeah. 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 When you hang with zombies, <laughs> it's funny, but it's the truth. I never got this. I mean, I always thought, oh, zombie movies are so stupid because how can dead people be alive? How can they be dead and alive? Oh my God, I found it. I found the grave of the zombies. It's the church. Because their bodies are moving, but their spirits are dead. That's good. Well, God put it this way. You speak lovely words with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. You hang with zombies, you'll just die. If you hang with thieves, you're gonna to want to steal. But watch, watch. Okay, because here's the principle. It's uh, it's all this is building up to the main principle I want you to put into your back pocket or into your shoes, as Tammy Faye used to say, and walk it out. If I infect you, that means I had some kind of communicable disease. If I affect you, that means, watch, here's the principle. Catherine, here's the principle. If I affect you, that means that I have gone past your emotions and into the realm of your mind. You didn't hear that. I'm going to say that again. If I infect you, that means I've got some kind of bad stuff, bad energy, bad aura, bad karma, whatever you want to call it. But if I affect you, that means I have moved past your emotions and into your mind. I can only change you if I mess with your mind. There are a lot of preachers out there who are Messing with people's emotions. But few deal with people's minds. I don't want to give.
get you all hyped up just so you can give big in the offering. I mean, I want you to give big in the offering. That goes without saying. <laughs> 